Hey guys, so I'm doing another cemetery video. As you can tell, this is the lovely cemetery I am in today. So I am currently in Portland, Michigan doing a cemetery video. I don't remember what I called them, so it's just a cemetery video. Um, so let's see if we can catch anything on these videos such as it moving on its own like it is right now, which I always find interesting when I'm holding the video still and I can see it moving back and forth. Um, that to me is always a sign of some sort of paranormal activity as the energy on your phone is being moved. Like it's doing it again there, I can see it moving little by little, and then sometimes it will move back on its own, which is, like I said, always a way to tell there's paranormal activity in the cemetery you're in if the camera's moving at all on itself or you see twitching or glitches of any kind as well as shadows um, dots or orbs as people normally call them flying through your screen of course you have to make sure to be careful that nothing is a bug or you know anything else like that always try to debunk what you see or what's happening of course if you see the camera moving you look at your hands make sure you know, you ain't shaky or moving the camera in a way that you're seeing just to make sure that what you're seeing is indeed unexplainable unless it's paranormal. At least that's what I try to do because you don't want, you know, there are a lot of skeptics out there. You got to cover your little rears. All right, so let's start over here. I just felt like walking in this direction. Not really sure why, but this direction definitely spoke to me. I looked behind me to the other side of me, kind of trying to feel out where I thought the best direction would be to go because of course I can only do part of this cemetery. It is quite large so I'm not going to be able to reach the whole thing. So I'm only picking a few tombstones that stand out to me that kind of get a feeling off you know and by feeling I just mean like they stand out amongst the rest for me. Usually means their spirit is still lingering around at some point. Um, so let me see. I really like this one over here. It's unique as well, It's a, and it's a bigger one. So usually that means a whole family is laying there. They quite possibly could have come for money um, or some sort. They could have even been, you know, relatable in the town, such as in history of some sort. So let's see what we have here. So this is the one I was speaking of. Oh, I'm not sure if I can say the name, last name right. Um... Bocardus is the best I can do there. This is a very lovely tombstone. It's big. It's got some nice um, drawings on it that is in the stone, even though some are fading, and it's very beautiful. So the names I can see on this tombstone, I step back a little, make sure I get an ounce as much around it as possible. So the names I see here are James L. Um, and it says March 10th, 1838. Shelly, or Sally, I apologize, Sally J, July 9th, 1849 through February 27th, 1898. Their children, Will T, September 18th, 1874. Mary E, September 9th, 1876 through August 15th, 1901. Well, that's crazy with, you know, it being September.